Who was Freddie Mercury? Freddie Mercury was a singer-songwriter and musician whose music reached the top of US and British charts in the 1970s and 1980s. As the frontman of Queen, Mercury was one of the most talented and innovative singers of the rock era. Born Farak Balsara in Tanzania, Mercury studied piano in boarding school in India, then befriended numerous musicians at London's Ealing College of Art. Mercury died of EYIDS-related bronchial pneumonia on November 24, 1991, at age 45. Early Life Mercury was born Farak Balsara on September 5, 1946, in Zanzibar. Mercury's parents, Bomi and Jabalsara, were Parses, or followers of the Zoroastrian religion whose ancestors came from Persia. After Bomi and Jah married, they moved to Zanzibar, Tanzania, where Bomi worked as a cashier for the British government's high court. The family lived a fairly affluent life, with a nanny and other domestic workers. Mercury's sister, Kashmira, was born in 1952. At the age of eight, Mercury's parents sent him to a boarding school in Bombay, now Mumbai, India, where he studied piano and spent his free time with his aunt and grandparents. It was not long before the charismatic young man joined his first band, The Hectics. In 1963, Mercury returned to Zanzibar. Following a bloody revolution on the islands in 1964, the family fled to London. Mercury attended the Ealing College of Art and befriended a number of musicians. In 1969, Mercury joined a group called Ibex as their lead singer. He played with a few other bands before joining forces with his future Queen bandmates. Teeth and Vocal Range Mercury was born with four extra teeth in the back of his mouth, causing his now famous Bucktooth grin. In fact, his nickname growing up was Bucky. Mercury never got his teeth fixed because he was afraid it would ruin his impressive four-octave vocal range. Queen Mercury met his future bandmates, drummer Roger Taylor and guitarist Brian May, around the time he moved to London in the 1960s. They met up with bassist John Deacon in 1971. The quartet, which Mercury dubbed Queen, played their first gig together that June. In 1973, Queen released their first album, titled Queen. They quickly followed up with their second album, Queen 2, in 1974, which they recorded in over just one month. The album was the first taste of the group's signature harmonies and music styles, including ballads, folk, blues, metal, pop and rock, and included the single Seven Seas of Rye. Queen's music however, really only caught on with their third record, Sheer Heart Attack, also released in 1974. With a sound that has been described as a fusion of hard rock and glam rock, Queen had an even bigger hit the following year with their fourth album, A Night at the Opera, 1975. Queen's popularity continued to soar through the late 70s and early 80s with A Day at the Races, 1976, News of the Vorld, 1978, and The Game, 1980. After the works, 1984, the group's ability to sell albums began to wane, although Queen continued to draw huge crowds as a live act around the world. In addition to his talents as a singer and songwriter, Mercury was a skilled showman. He knew how to entertain audiences and how to connect with them. He liked to wear costumes often featuring skin-tight spandex and strutted around the stage, encouraging fans to join in the fun. Artistic in nature, Mercury was also actively involved in designing the art for many of the group's albums. Mercury also lived a lavish lifestyle. He loved champagne and liked to collect art, once spending more than $400,000 on a set of hand-painted china. Always one for a party, Mercury threw himself elaborate celebrations, for one particular birthday, he flew a group of friends to the island of Ibiza. The occasion was marked by fireworks and flamenco dancing. By 1989, Mercury largely retreated from public life. He did not promote or tour for Queen's next album, Innuendo, 1991, and rumors about possible health problems began to circulate. Before his death, Mercury worked in the studio with Queen. These efforts were released in 1995 on Made in Heaven, the group's last album with all the original members. Gone but clearly not forgotten, this collection of Mercury's final performances reached the top of the British charts.
Mercury and Queen were recognized for their contributions to American music history when they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001. Songs by Freddie Mercury and Queen Killer Queen Queen's third album, Sheer Heart Attack, featured their first hit, Killer Queen, a song about a high-class call girl. The 1974 single hit number two on the UK charts, and peaked at number 12 in the US. Unlike most of his other music, Mercury wrote the lyrics before the music. Bohemian Rhapsody Mercury wrote the song Bohemian Rhapsody, a seven-minute rock operetta for the 1975 album, A Night at the Opera. Overdubbing his voice, Mercury showed off his four-octave vocal range on this innovative track. The song hit the top of the charts in Britain and became a top 10 hit in the United States. We are the champions and we will rock you. The 1978 hit We Are The Champions, off of the album News of the World, became a top 10 song in the United States and in Britain. It was featured on a single with We Will Rock You. Both songs have taken on a life of their own as popular anthems played at sporting events. Another one bites the dust. Always exploring new and different sounds, Queen tried their hand at the big music trend of the time with the disco-flavored Another One Bites the Dust, from their 1980 album The Game. Crazy Little Thing Called Love. Also on of the game, Mercury and the rest of the band showed their range as performers with the rockabilly-influenced 1980 hit Crazy Little Thing Called Love, which Mercury penned. Under Pressure with David Bowie. In 1981, Queen collaborated with David Bowie to create Under Pressure. A number one hit in Britain, the song's distinctive bass line was later reportedly used by Vanilla Ice for his 1990 rap hit Ice, Ice Baby. Radio GAGA -GA. Although Queen's popularity began to wane in the mid-1980s, the group had a minor hit in 1984 with Radio GAGA. -GA. Pop musician Lady Gaga took inspiration for her stage name from the song. Solo Career In addition to his work with Queen, Mercury released several solo albums, including 1985's Mr. Bad Guy. He also collaborated with opera singer Montserrat Cabal for 1988's Barcelona. Live Aid Performance One of Queen's most notable performances was in 1985 at the Live Aid charity concert. Simply dressed in a tank top and jeans, Mercury led the crowd through some of the band's greatest hits with great energy and style. He got the thousands of music fans at London's Wembley Stadium to chant along to We Will Rock You. For many who watched the event live or on television, Queen gave one of the top performances of the day-long event, which was organized by singer and activist Bob Geldof and songwriter Midge to raise money for victims of famine in Africa. Inspired by the event, the band wrote the hit One Vision. Death Mercury died from EYIDS-related bronchial pneumonia at his London mansion on November 24, 1991. He was 45 years old. The day before his death, on November 23, 1991, Mercury released a statement, I wish to confirm that I have been tested HIV positive and have EYIDS. I felt it correct to keep this information private to date to protect the privacy of those around me. However, the time has come now for my friends and fans around the world to know the truth, and I hope that everyone will join with my doctors and all those worldwide in the fight against this terrible disease.